this is K-Rider Geek Nation News. And this week we're going to be doing another Super Sentai Toe review. So let's get started. Henshin! Hi everybody, so this week we're going to be doing Double Sentai Duager the DX Duo the Light, belonging to the 6th Duer the World. And this is its Changer, aka his Morpher. So, um... This is the, so if you guys haven't seen the show yet, or you guys haven't seen the, the latest episodes, this is the 6th Jewish, with the Jewish, he's, uh, his um, entry is really cool, you guys ha have to see it if you guys can. Um, if you guys, you know me, I like telling you guys a little bit background behind the, well, depending on what toy I'm showing you, of depending on coming right to Sentai. And uh, for the Sentai, so Jewish of the World is actually the 6th one, who uh, so far beginning is totally, is a bad guy. So, uh, I don't know the whole background story, I just what I saw and what I read online. So, pretty much, uh, Jewager is, is a human, he is not a Jew, um, human. Oh, wait, a Zauer, uh, sorry, Zuerman. He's actually human, and, um, he was actually captured by the enemy and, uh, fused with three Zuerman energies to make him his, uh, Jew of the light, Jew of the world. So, he's a bad guy because he's being controlled by the bad guys. Um, that's all I know because, like I say, I'm barely on this. I think episode 18, watching it, uh, not the whole knowing the whole background story of him. So let's get started and let's look at this. So, like I said, this is a uh, Joe the Light, and it's his changer. And uh, the box itself is really cool. I do like it. And if you see, it actually shows you right there: Jewel the World Crocodile form, Jewel the World Rhino, Jewel the World Wolf form. See the back, it looks pretty, it shows you all the, the, you know, the stuff you can do. So, this in a way has come on, it has kind of like a three, four modes, you can say. Um, and I'll, I'll explain that in a bit. So, also, don't forget, I will tell you that guys the price range and, uh, and how if you want to look for it online. So, um, like it shows you right here, it shows you, uh, rhino, crocodile, and wolf. It shows you what you do pretty much in, um, to morphing, to summoning the cube, you know, cube animals, and also combining to even combining all the other Jew animals together. So that's pretty much just showing you here. So let's open this baby up. So before I forget, I just want to show you the little figure that comes with all, uh, with all the changers, and it looks pretty cool. If you guys can see, let me actually give you a better look at the light. Um. He looks cool. He looks just like the other one's very simple, very plain. Um, if you have, if you don't have the cube, the, the cube morpher for the jewel. It comes with all five of them, and I guess they decided to integrate it with this one as two. I do like that. I do. It's like a little extra bonus when it comes to toys and figures. And because like I can see, it looks really cool. I'm trying to move in for you guys can look a little better. Um, like I said, it's very plain, but yeah, very. Uh, I do like it. I really do like the that they do stuff like this. I hope they do this. Maybe they will do it for the next season, for the next uh, Sentai will comes out. But uh, maybe it's just, it's just a 40th anniversary thing they're doing. I do like that they're doing this. So now let's see the change. All right, guys. So here is the Jewel, the Light, the DX. Now, if you guys cannot see, I did t <laughs> do some paint. Uh, jobs on it to make it look more like TV authentic. Uh, if you guys cannot tell right now, uh, I would, like I said, after I'm done my video, finish doing my videos, I do do close up photos. You guys can see a better of the toy itself and you just, you know, have a better look at it. So, yeah, I do did some custom paint on it so to make it look more uh, authentic like the show. I'm um, like, I like doing that. Now, all the toys, just some of the stuff that I really do like it. I kind of want to. Like, like I said, um, these have uh, like three, actually, kind of four um, settings you can say. So, uh, like I said, one is the first one is about uh, henshin second one is summoning the jumbo cube animals uh, the third is combining them and the fourth it could be uh, combining even the other cube animals together to make the the, the, the well the ultimate megazord you can say and then there's even a five you can say setting that I'm not sure what it is exactly I don't know if it's a game or it's just an extra thing they add into it but I do like that this toy has a lot of gimmicks in it so uh, let's turn it on now the speaker is going to be right here you guys cannot see and the off and on switch is right here. So the button's gonna be right here. So you're gonna hear the first sound. You can also see the light. And that's so cool. I do I do dig the, the sound. So let me hold it. So see I just triggered the first pop. So you turn it off and turn it on again. So pretty much, so like I said, the first uh sound is for the henchin and then you actually hear him say the wall so let's do uh, rhino first 
and it has to match the red to the this part to make it form <laughs> I really love the wolf um, so let's do the final one that's crocodile So the other lights on this right here, if you guys want to see a better of it, let me actually turn the light off for you guys. So let's just do one in the dark so you guys can see. I'm going to do my favorite one as the wolf. So let's do the second one and that's to summon the cubes animals. So you have to do two pups here. Jumbo. Jumbo. It's <laughs> That's so cool. So the reason you hear a truck is because actually one of the cube animals actually it's more convert it into a truck kind of vehicle so that's cool how they did that so let's do the wolf now uh oh I did it twice I gotta do it twice that's cool so let's do the final one that's cool Crocodile, let me put this out. Let's see. So let's do the one with all the animals summoning together at, at once. Now, let's do the third one. So the third one is three pops to combine them all together. One, two, three. So let's combine all the Jew cube animals together. So we gotta pop it at least four times. One. Yeah, see more like four times. You gotta be careful because sometimes it would start tricking out of the other modes. You gotta hear the eagle. That is pretty cool. So let's do the final one now. The final one you have to hold on to the trigger and it you'll hear it. So you just press and you hold on to it. So pretty much you pop it right here. It's 
I don't know if it's a game or what the heck I'm doing. That is so cool. So if if you if I guess if you get it right, you get triggered that that person or whoever's talking. But if you don't, you just don't hear it, and it just makes that you know turning off sound. So I guess it's a game. I'm not sure what it is, but I do like it. It just makes it more fun that there's more integration into it. All right, so let's let's talk about price range. So right now, because this toy is still pretty brand new and hot, you are gonna find them for about. Uh, about fifty dollars, and that's not including shipping. So you are gonna probably waste about eighty to yeah, like eighty ninety dollars tops. Um, I got it about the that about that price uh, because I actually um, got it right when it came out and saying pre-ordering it. I wish I pre-ordered because I would have gotten it way cheaper. But uh, I just I I kind of liked it. So yeah. So if you can pre-order our items, it's just way better to pre-order because you save more money that way. Just you guys to give you guys a heads up. Um, it's a must-have, but uh. Uh, price range right now, like I say, it's uh, it's going for about six, like seventy, eighty with shipping all together. There are some some people are selling it for about fifty or sixty bucks, and it's shipping is including free. So um, if you guys want to wait it out a bit, maybe it'll, price will drop down, or maybe it will price will rise up because you know, so far we don't like not many people know yet about him like and they're gonna like him more, and, and then the fan base will get bigger, and then his toy can actually go up. His changer, we don't know yet. Um, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, in a couple of weeks, I'm heading to uh, Los Angeles Convention Center. Uh, that's the Anime Expo. That's the biggest North American biggest expo. And I will be filming there, taking photos, you know, trying to see all the fun that's happening there. If you guys haven't had or heard about it yet, you know, let's check out my channel. I do have some past videos and photos of that place. Um... This year, I'm going to try to combine my video and my photos all at once because I have a new camera. So instead of just cutting it, like making three or four videos, I'm just going to make one big video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Also, I am going to be at uh, late in, end of July. I'm going to try to go to Comic Con. I'm not sure yet if I am or not. I got to see. <laughs> so I hope you, you enjoy my video. This is Mr. Bushido signing out at K-Rider Kick Nation News. We'll be the latest. Your list of Kamen Rider, Super Santa Anime, and Comic Book too. And also, Kashiri Tokase Monsters, a.k.a. Kaiju. Goodbye, YouTube world. Hey.